Hello you guys, so I just wanted to just put this out there, it just came to my existence and it has been because I know a lot of people f feel this way and also I can say that it is challenging um, because I have faced it as well and I think, I think all of us in the collective have felt it and one of the most most difficult challenges is uh, choosing yourself to make yourself happy um, and that is what we are kind of facing right now uh, you get a glimpse of the outside uh, whether it was something that you didn't you had the veil and now you are seeing it but you are seeing it because you have been activated to start your journey and the thing is that when you so desire to choose yourself but don't it puts you in a place of frantic and in a place of depression and sadness um and that is something that you have to come out of it um, yourself. Um, you do have people, uh, friends, uh, soul tribes that can assist you with this. But ultimately, it is always you that would have to take the first step in the journey. And that includes choosing yourself. Um because a lot of people can all around you can tell you well let's do this let's do that but uh, if you don't budge you don't budge and you're in the same place that you have been and that's where you get in the defensive mode of um, this always seems to happen to me how come life doesn't happen to me why do I get this type of life so that is something that I wanted to share with you guys because it is challenging it's always a challenge uh, when it's about choosing ourselves especially if you have been mothers grandparents uh, the sole provider um, the head of hold, household uh, the head honcho you name it uh, you have carried so much responsibility, but the reason why you have been, um, it is showing you the obvious is because it, it is time for you to awaken, to really uh, enjoy the, the, the rest of your life uh, that you have, um, that you have left. And it's not always about getting drained it's not about hating your life it's not about um living for somebody else it is really ultimately about living for yourself and this is not selfish there's there's gonna come to a point that is one of the things that a lot of um souls a lot of people that have to uh learn to uh conquer to go through this one of the things that i can tell you is don't be so hard on yourself it is time to really release that okay release the necessity of um being the responsible one for everybody else because along the way you left yourself behind now this happens to everybody okay so I'm not pinpointing anybody because it has happened to me. It has happened to everybody around us. You know, that's why you see a lot of marriages fail. That's why you see um, people out of marriages. That's, that's why you see what you see, right? Uh, but the thing is, now you have been called to really engage with yourself you don't want to have this 
feeling of depression that lasts not only for days now, but it becomes your lifestyle, change it. That's the beauty of the awakening that the divine has given us. It's, it's a great gift that we don't have to carry that. We don't have to carry our past. Our past was our past and that's it. It was an experience. It, 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 it was it was lessons, but mostly experiences because the lessons are what we are finding out now, right? And I don't want you guys to become bitter because it is very challenging. And even when some of these energies come in, whether it's from the collective or for myself, uh, these are energies that I, I don't care to experience them. Uh, once you experience uh, the taste of the divine light, you all you want to do is just go for that and you are in a different place that you were before so what i would recommend is find somebody that is able to um to motivate you okay um it could be uh, if you have a best friend, a BFF, go and do that, right? Um, and really have a open conversation because if you guys are best best friends, BFFs, you guys share, you know, very private information. And if it's something that is like, you know what, I have not been feeling really good for the past days. I haven't been feeling good for the past weeks. I was wondering if you can assist, help me um, get back on uh, on the wagon of self-love, right? Uh, one other thing is I don't recommend that you guys um, find somebody that is also um, in that same wavelength because... You guys need each other to motivate unless that is something that you guys are going to really dedicate you guys themselves to really go out there. Um, there's a lot of ways of doing it, right? Your determination for... Your determination for changing your life is going to be at the most, Okay. That's where you come in. That's where your strength, your courage, your faith in making things happen. Okay? Uh, one of the greatest things that the divine does is that he he never says that, nope, you had your chance and, you're, and your chance is it. That's it. No. He has chances for everybody everybody that's a self-realization uh, for good and evil all that the positive negative the dark and the light everybody deserves a chance to uh, make themselves um, to be happy if you weren't this is a great opportunity to really um, choose yourself in this part of your life to really get the best of what you have not received right from your life so that is something that I think the whole collective is really struggling with it, it it's it's challenging um, but one of the things that I have noticed is no, I do not accept. I do not take in my depression. I do not take in my frustration. If I am able to change my life, I'm going to start. And that is by always start to choosing you. Right? Uh, don't be afraid. Don't have fear on going and moving forward in regards to choosing yourself. When you choose yourself 
and that intent is there. There's always blessings that come in. It's it's really about coming back to to the divine, coming back to oneness with your own self. You know what happened to to remember or think about when was the last time that you felt happy in such a long time. Now that might feel good, but just imagine it ten more times better when there's no opposite, there's no polarity of it that you're doing this and it feels freaking great. Uh, it is it is challenging to start it, but I guarantee you that once you start, you will never want to go back, okay? You'll take all your multi-dimensions, uh, persons, personalities, uh, <laughs> beings, and you will take them moving forward. You won't leave any of yourself behind. All right, my beautiful friends. Until next time. Bye.